Okay, so to kick off, go to the iTunes store. Uh, I'll put all these URLs in the description. So go to the iTunes store, download Touch OSC. Go to hexler.net. Come down to software. Click on the Touch OSC. Scroll down the screen. Touch OSC editor for whichever operating system you happen to be using. Next, go to Oscillator. Now you can download the free version of Oscillator here, but I would advise purchasing it for €29 Euros purely because the free version prompts for registration of the license roughly every five minutes. And I found that when it did that, I kept on losing the connection between my iPad and, and Tractor. Okay, so we've launched Touch OSC Editor, and the first screen I'm presented with is the uh, iPhone and iPad Touch screen. I want to change that to an iPad and change my layout to horizontal. That's how I like to have my iPad set up. I'll also switch on the grid line so any components I add I can snap to grid. Now, to add components, I just right click, select from the list, and then can scale. And if I want to label, I can label them. Okay, I'm now going to jump to a layout I've already made. Right, so this this layout's finished. This is this is like this is my browser layout and my loading layout. Uh, I've right clicked up here and added a page. And as you can see, I've just started to put together another page now for controlling the, the filter on the channels and the two effects units. So obviously these two are toggle buttons, the, the two dials are for the filters uh, to trigger effects 1 and effects 2 on deck A and deck B. Use these two toggle buttons. And then the up downs allow me to select which which effects to choose, and then the two sliders in the middle here control the amount of effect and also switch on. Now that I've got my two screens uh, designed in Touch OSC Editor, I now need to send them to Touch OSC. So in order to do that, I click the, the sync button up here in the uh, menu, and um, this will then sync it to my iPad. Right, now that I have my synced layout to my iPad, I now need to configure the buttons on Touch OSC on the iPad with Oscillator. So I come to open up Oscillator, and now I've already got my layout loaded uh, and selected, but basically this opens as a blank screen and what you need to do is you need to press each of the buttons on your iPad screen and it will then indicate whether it's the encoder or whether it's the button, the push button or a fader. So for example the view button I'm just going to press it now on my iPad and watch what happens on this screen. You see that? The, the little green light lights up there. Okay now that when when it first assigns it, it doesn't actually have the event type in there or the, the value, so you have to go through manually one by one and add these in. Okay, so it's a bit time consuming, which is why I haven't demonstrated it. Um, once that's all done, you're then ready to move on to Tractor. Okay, so I've mapped my iPad to in Tractor. Uh, 
I just want to demonstrate those buttons to you that you've seen previously. So I've rotated down to the folder there, Music Sorted. I'm now going to press the Tree button. That opens up that folder. I'm here, by the way. Uh, I can then rotate down through to a folder, press Select. That will highlight the first track, then rotate down through. Du -du 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 and then pick a track to load into deck A. And if I start the turntable, chuck it on, should hear something. There you go. Now move into my other screen. Um, 